Hi guys, my kids are sleeping so I'm going to be whispering a little bit and I just wanted to take advantage of a little bit of free time that I have to give you guys an update on what's going on in the life a la Roxy. Um, as some of you may know, I have recently tried CBD oil and I must say I'm very happy with the results. I went through my whole sample pack and I just ordered some more because not only did I feel good and motivated within myself, but I also got a reduced number of calls from my son's school. My son, Elijah, has been diagnosed with ADHD and I've chosen to not give him medications because I don't like the way they make him uh, look and act. The medications that he's tried, they made him look like a zombie or he had like a whole different um, facial expression and he seemed like he wasn't even my son. So I chose to just let him be natural and try to lower his sugar intake and stuff like that. But recently I've been giving him CBD oil and basically in school is the main issue. School has not been calling me three times a week like they usually do. So I'm going to continue it. I'm waiting on some more CBD oil now and I will let you guys know this is like life on a Roxy CBD oil experiment so if um, you have any questions please let me know um, obviously I'm interested in doing a YouTube channel and I'm researching that I'm in the beginning stages I don't have all the fancy equipment or background setup or even the college know-how. I'm strictly a YouTube University student and I'm just praying to God and trying to evolve and become more awake and aware of life and as I do that every day I learn new things every day and I experience new things every day and it's just truly amazing and I want to share them with you because in my heart my main objective is to share the good news whatever good news that may be whatever I learned that I think will be beneficial to other people. I just want to share that with other people so that we could, as a world, grow and evolve towards more positive and helpful things. Um, not show my boobs so much. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else am I about? What else is Life a la Roxy going to be about in this channel? Um, I can't really tell you because my life is so random. I am a single mother times four. I have two boys and two girls. So I have the perfect amount, the perfect match. I have closed down the shop. Um... I had four C-sections, so actually my fourth C-section was kind of a at-your-own-risk, life-or-death kind of thing, and um, that, amongst other reasons, I decided to get my tubes tied. So no more babies for me, and I'm most likely going to get into those other reasons and things that have happened in my life later on as I um, keep on going with this YouTube channel. A question that might arise is like, why? Why am I doing this YouTube channel? Why am I putting myself out there? Is it for attention or 
and it's really not for attention. I like people, but I'm kind of an introvert, kind of, sort of, I think, and something happened in my life where I got really depressed, and I've just kind of been like a loner, so it's carried on. Now I'm getting better. As I grow and evolve, I'm getting more positive people into my circle and um I'm happy to say that I'm getting better one day at a time but this is kind of like a cool outlet because I'm here alone but at the same time I have the potential to connect with people around the world and if you're watching me now comment below and let me know where you're from and say hello and um, I just send you good vibes and um, I pray that you're blessed and, and that God touches you and blesses you and wakes you up so that you can live the best life possible. I'm in that process now. I'm far from perfect, as you can see. <laughs> I am far from perfect, but... I'm striving to get better because I have to. I have to do it for my kids. Um, another reason why I'm doing this is, and I'm not claiming this, but my grandmother passed away of Alzheimer's not too long ago. And it it's hereditary, and I've noticed that my father sometimes forgets a lot and I've forgotten a lot so I'm not claiming it in Jesus name I'm not gonna have Alzheimer's but <laughs> and I know but I just if it's in God's will which hopefully it's not that I do develop Alzheimer's which I know I'm not it would be cool to have videos, right, of me when I'm younger, talking to myself or potential YouTube friends and family, um, you know? And then being a single mom, I also think about what if something happens to me. I know I'm not supposed to think that. I'm supposed to think positive, but... I can't help myself. I'm human. So, you know, we have thoughts and it's natural to think about stuff, especially when if you're like me, you've had a medical scare recently. Um, I went to the emergency room and coincidentally, they found a lump on my adrenal gland. An adrenal gland is right on top of your kidneys. And then they told me to take some kind of saliva test to test my cortisone levels um, two nights in a row. And one of the nights, my cortisone levels were high. So now they want to do another test, which they had me take some kind of pill at night at like 11 o'clock at night and then going in the morning at 8 o'clock in the morning to take another blood test so right now I'm waiting for those um, test results again I believe that God is protecting me he's my healer by his stripes I am healed and all that good stuff I'm not worried about it but <laughs> At the same time, it's only natural to think about it. So being a mom, a single mom of four kids, I'm like, what if something happens and my kids, you know, got to be here without me? And they're young. Like My oldest is 15. I have an 11-year-old. I have a 6-year-old. And then my baby's going to be 2 next month. So... God forbid anything happens to me, it would be nice for them to have 
some videos of me to remember me by. But in Jesus' name, that's not going to happen. I'm going to be around for a long, long time. But hey, unless I'm here for the rapture, you know, everybody has a lifespan. And I think the internet's going to be around for a long, long time. So in a thousand years, when I'm in heaven, maybe people will be down here watching this video still. Say, <laughs> okay i'm talking crazy it's just a little bit of the inside of my head what goes on in my head i know a lot of we as humans we think of a lot of stuff and it causes anxiety and depression and especially if we've been through a lot of stuff so i'm tackling all of that all of that all of that all of that my first son's father was um shot nine times and killed when my oldest son was not even two. Yeah, he had just turned two. Sorry. He had just turned two when my, um, when his father was shot nine times. And that is a crazy story in itself. Long story short, um, we had gotten into an argument three days before he passed away, and eight minutes before he died, he called me, and he said that he missed me and the baby, and he wanted to take us to Chuck E. Cheese, and um, he asked if I agreed to meet up with him the next day. I said, yeah, I missed him too, I wanted to talk things out. I hung up the phone, and eight minutes later, he was shot and killed. The way I know what time it happened is because the police were on the next block when it happened, and in their report, they put the time. And I noticed later on that it was exactly eight minutes after he had called me for the last time. So I went through like 10 years of depression, and anxiety and all types of stuff and that's just one of my baby daddy stories i have four kids and four baby daddies i know and don't call me a hoe or a slut or all that stuff because i promise you it wasn't the plan <laughs> I was raised like watching Disney and Little Mermaid and all that stuff. This was not the plan, but life happens and sometimes we make bad choices and we have to deal with bad consequences. So, um, enough for now though. I'm going to take my butt to sleep and I will make another video soon. Please, please, please subscribe and like and comment and send me a message because I want to be your friend. I want to connect with you. Let's see how we could team up and make the world a better place. Okay. Thank you guys. God bless you.